today we're gonna show you how we're gonna use these drones to do foliar feed. It's not ideal conditions for the drone because we're going to be doing 5.2 gallons per acre. All right, how's it going folks? I'm Mike with New Wit Ag. Today we're gonna show you how we're gonna use these drones to do foliar feed. It's not ideal conditions for the drone because we're going to be doing 5.2 gallons per acre, but this guy cannot get in his fields because it's too wet with the big boots rare. And so I was like, you know what? We'll come out and we'll help you get this foliar feed on here. So 5.2 gallons an acre, it's gonna slow the drones down but they can totally get it done. If you didn't watch the video yesterday, I showed you how we boundary these fields. I'm about to download the fields to my controller right now, and then we're gonna get this thing uh, started and I'm gonna show you how we do this. Okay, so we're screen recording. Basically, I start off um, in this screen, I hit my files folder up there. I hit download, make sure I'm connected to the internet. Yep, I'm on my, so and then we just go through and we choose every field that I created, which is all these ZOO-ins. And once I get that done, geez, there's a bunch of fields. How many fields do we have? A dozen? Uh, oh, way more than that. Um, a dozen fields? I selected 26 fields. Because each field is split into two, because we got two drones. Uh, a drone's gonna go in here, another drone's gonna go up there. But I'm gonna hit that uh, download. So now it's gonna download those to my controller. Once those get downloaded, I can uh, open up the, the app inside the controller and then we're gonna launch. So now you've seen how we're downloading them. We're gonna go over here, get the drone set up and start, uh, start spraying. We're trying to get to 30. It doesn't have to be exactly 30. I'd probably go right there. Crop height, 12 foot. First drone's launched. Do you know there's a fence back there? Is it, is it where you're doing the whole field? I'm not even halfway through. I think it would be made though. So. All right, we uh, just got to our second location here, the last fields. We were able to get those knocked out real quick. We had just, like I said, there was some small things, get some quirks uh, figured out, settings, that type of thing. But we're doing 5.2 gallons per acre, so that's a lot. Got those knocked out. We had to use the repeater on the one drone because it was up a little bit further. And the problem is here in Ohio, we got a lot of cell towers, Wi-Fi, power lines, and we get reception interference real fast. For some reason, I mean, I can see my drone, literally, let's say it's 800 feet, I can see it and it start losing reception. It's just something we deal with here in Ohio. I've talked to guys in Kansas that have been on a run that is a mile away and they can see the drone, but they have clear service. So it's just the area you're in will teach you what you need to have if you're in those areas. But we put the repeater up on the one drone and got that knocked out down there. And now we're up here at this location, just have a, a few small fields right here, not too bad. And then we're gonna probably keep pulling up this road. We got a 19 acre piece over there. We're gonna get knocked out and then we'll keep on rolling down the road.
today. All right, Dennis is taking the last load out on this field. We had the wind pick up a little bit. I'm not in a big hurry. The farmer's not in a big hurry. And rather than having, you know, some drift, we're just gonna shut her down. He's gonna take that load out and dump it. And then we'll probably come back maybe later tonight or tomorrow first thing, get it knocked out. But that's all we got for this one. I was training Dennis a lot on operation and stuff. And so flying off of this trailer, I'm telling you right now, it's the first time that I'm doing it real life, like actually out in the field. It is so nice because you don't get a lot of dust kicking up. You got everything right there. It's clean. We get the question if floor gets slippery, not at all. It's very sticky, so it's, it's good stuff. I'm very excited about it. Uh, again, if you're looking to get into custom spraying or if you're a farmer and you want to get a rig like this, we make it easy. It's a turnkey operation. The drones, the generators, the trailer, the whole nine yards, what you need to do your own stuff. But that's all we got here today. I appreciate it. Hit the subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one.